some of the most beloved movies ever, and they basically play on a loop this time of year. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Home Alone, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Those aren't pillows. Ah! Ah! Iconic holiday flicks with more than just Christmas or Thanksgiving in common between them. They are all set or filmed in and around Chicago. And today we're kind of going on a bit of a Hollywood style type tour of the heartland to see where these movies were filmed and to see what, if anything, is still standing there today. Okay, let's start with Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, released in November of 87. It follows the adventures of Neil Page and Del Griffith as they try to get from New York to Chicago in time for Thanksgiving. Along the way, they spend the night in the El Rancho Motel, which is still standing, barely. Yikes. Oh my goodness. It's now called the River Trail Gardens and Inn in Gurney, Illinois, along Route 41, just south of the Wisconsin state line. It would be their last stop overnight before, spoiler alert, they make it home to Neil's house two days after leaving New York. This has got to be it up here. The Colonial still standing just north of Chicago in Kenilworth, Illinois. You'll find it on Oxford Road. It last sold for $1.4 million back in 2009. Are you mad at me? Like planes, trains, and automobiles, John Hughes set and produced most of his movies here north of Chicago. He spent a lot of his childhood in Northbrook, Illinois. And another famous movie house is right nearby in Evanston, the house where John Candy stepped up as an uncle in 1989's Uncle Buck. You should see that toast. I couldn't even get it through the door. It's over on Lincoln, and I know what you're saying, it's not a holiday movie, and you're right, but it inspired one. We'll get to that in a second. A few months after Uncle Buck, John Hughes' National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation came out, set in the Windy City and loaded with shots of Chicago, but most of the movie was filmed in California. The house itself is on a Warner Brothers lot in Burbank. <laughs> Back to the tour and up to Winnetka, where most of 1990's Home Alone was produced. Told you we'd get back to the Uncle Buck thing. Hughes once said the scene where Macaulay Culkin is waiting for John Candy's girlfriend and peeking out of that mail slot inspired Home Alone, which went on to become one of the most successful comedies of all time, earning nearly half a billion dollars at the box office. Holy smokes, look at this crowd. The iconic house is here along Lincoln in Winnetka, and as you can see this time of year, the street's a bit of a tourist draw. The current owners of the home have installed a fence around the property. Built in 1920, it last sold in 2012 for $1.6 million. Are those microwave dinners any good? I don't know. I'll give them a whirl. Just around the corner, you'll still find the grocery store that Kevin visited. It's called the Grand Food Center. A few blocks north on Green Bay Road in Winnetka, where Kevin visits with Santa, you can visit the pharmacy where Kevin stole that toothbrush. It's now a Grader's ice cream shop. And across the street, the ice rink is now a park. Roughly three miles south of the house, you'll find the Home Alone Church, Trinity United Methodist, along Lake Avenue in Wilmette. But the interior shots were actually from a church in Oak Park, Illinois. John Hughes wasn't done with Northern Illinois, the totally underrated, under-the-radar flick Dutch, which came out in 1991, was shot in part in Richmond and Barrington, Illinois. And a lot of his 1994 remake of Miracle on 34th Street, set in New York, of course, was actually shot in Chicago. Other holiday movies shot or set in and around Chicago include Tim Allen's The Santa Claus franchise, set in the fictional Lakeside, Illinois, but shot in Canada. Vince Vaughn's hysterical Fred Claus, Christmas with the Cranks, and even last year's The Christmas Chronicles on Netflix. Did you enjoy our quick little tour here? Which one of those movies is your favorite? Did I miss one by chance? Let me know in the comments below, and as they say in the movies, So long. <laughs>